Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor and a privilege for me each time I have the opportunity to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. Hallelujah. If this is the first time you're seeing me, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please, if you are yet to become a part of our community, that is, you're not subscribed yet to this channel, kindly do that. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live, you will not miss out. Hallelujah. Someone's crying. Things did not work out the way they thought. Someone is crying, they are in tears. Things did not go out the way they thought. And it is very difficult for them to accept that. You know, there is a kind of rejection that happens and it's difficult for you to accept it. It's difficult for you to, you know, move past that. The prophet Samuel really loved Saul, King Saul. And when God rejected King Saul, he was in pain. He cried for so long. If there was a way for things to, you know, for God to reverse things, or if there was a way for Samuel to, if it, if it were within his power, he would have reversed the whole situation. But he mourned for Saul so long, and God told him and asked him, How long are you going to mourn Saul? It's time for you to rise up and anoint someone else. It's time for you to move on. Saul has been rejected. It's time for you to anoint David to take over. When God rejects someone in your life, sometimes it's very clear to us. It's very obvious. We know that God has rejected this person, but because we were so attached to them, it is difficult for us to let go. But letting go is going to be for your good. Letting go is going to benefit you. God has rejected this person, and it is just for you to accept the perfect will of God for your life. Of course, you know that the will of God for you is the best. Hallelujah. You've got to trust God. Let go and open up yourself to receive what God has for you. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you abundantly. Shalom.